So today I'm going to be reacting to this Gacha Club mini movie called Dig It. It is a volleyball inspired story by Hannah. I will have the original in the description down below. But this actually reminded me of a very, very underrated story by Sunflower called Serve It Up. It's another volleyball themed story that happens like a year ago and it's highly underrated guys. Please check that one out as well. But today we're going to do the one by Hannah. Let me know if you'd like for me to do the story by Sunflower as well. Ooh, five more minutes. Uh, not too shabby. Dad, I'm going to school now. Would you drop me off? It's like a 40 minute walk. School buses don't come to this part of town. <laughs> well, better get used to walking. But I'll be late. You should have been more organized. Newton's third law. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm late. You must be the new student. Dahlia, correct? Yep, that's me. <laughs> Since this is your first day, I will excuse you. Take a seat. We'll begin our lesson now. Here are the school clubs. Have a look at them and tell me which one you want to join. Thanks, teacher. <sighs> Everything looks boring. <gasps> volleyball? I wouldn't mind trying that. But Dad always hated it when I took interest in volleyball. Turn that junk off. But it's just volleyball. Just listen to me. <laughs> Looking for a club? Yes. Uh, Sophie. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm sorry. You reminded me of someone I knew. How do you know my mother's name? You're Sophie's child? Yes. You were the exact replica of her. I'm Owen. Me and your mom were best friends back in the day. She was an idol in our school. Idol? She was the greatest libero in our school. She was a volleyball player? I never knew that. Didn't your dad ever tell you? Does Tell me anything. You can't even look me in the eye. It was her dream to win grand finals. If only she had more time. Is that why Dad never wanted to see anything involving volleyball? Mom passed away due to childbirth. She had a choice to either save herself or the baby. She decided to save me ever since I was a child. Dad barely ever spoke to me. I looked too much like my mother. How about you try out volleyball? If you like it, I'll be happy to have you on our team. You wouldn't mind? Not at all. If you qualify, I won't hesitate to bring you on the team. You might even become like your mother. Like my mother? This gives me more reason to join. Hello? Watch out! Ah! Uh, Are you okay? I didn't get hit. So, uh, yes. That's not the best welcome. My bad. Anyway, how about you show me the basics of what you know about volleyball? I'll see how well you are and decide whether you can be our libero or not. Uh, ah! Was I alright? Uh, coach? Uh, sorry, I was dazed. Seeing you play brought back memories. I can't believe you never knew your mom played volleyball. Dad doesn't like talking about her. Her parents were soulmates. It must have been hard for him. Anyway, you're pretty good for your first time. Your reflexes are impeccable. Must be in the genes. <laughs> you said mom was a libero? What is that? They receive the ball when it's close to the ground. A libero needs to be the hardest working person on the team. By being relentless and not giving up, they show a strong mental game with the capacity to handle tough situations and play well under pressure. Wow, that seems like a hard position. Your mom was quite stubborn. It was her weakness and her strength. If you give me a chance, I can prove I'm worthy of being the libero of your team. Are you that interested? Did you enjoy practicing? Yes, but I also never got to meet my mother. Playing volleyball makes me kind of feel connected to her. I want to achieve what she never could. Win the grand finals? Yes! That might seem ambitious for a beginner, but not once have I heard anything about my mother. Now I know one thing about her. I'm eager to follow in her footsteps. I see potential. I'll start you off with training. If you prove to me you can handle the liberal position, I'll welcome you to the team. When defending, lift your knees up when the ball contacts your arse. Swinging your arms, which can give it unpredictable movements. How about serving? We'll get to that. I feel like I'm not pushing myself enough. I need to prove I'm worth being on this team. Ha! Wow, that was a pretty cool move. <coughs> Wait, 
You have asthma? <clears throat> yes, you may look bad, but trust me, I can handle it. I want to play. Asthma isn't something you can control. Any high endurance sport can trigger it. I'm not too sure if I can allow you into the team if your health is at risk. No! I can perfectly handle volleyball. I know as a coach, you must take into consideration the student's health. But I really want to play. I've always seen people play volleyball and admire how the game works. And now I know my mom used to play. I have more reason to play. You're right. I shouldn't stop you from doing something you want to do. This doesn't mean I'll dismiss it. You must promise if you feel like you're having an asthma attack, you take care of yourself first. I promise. Then welcome to the team. Really? But I only started playing volleyball. I see a lot of potential. You already have amazing reflexes and you're a fast learner. Welcome to Harajuku Volleyball Club. Thank you so much. You guys, meet your new teammates. Your new libero. Her name is Dahlia. Hello. You look just like Sophie. You also know my mother? Who doesn't? She was famous in our school. This town is where she grew up. Introduce yourself. I'm Rachel. I'm 17 years old and my position is an outside hitter. My name's Elijah. I'm 17 years old and my position is a setter. My name's Heath. 18 years old and I'm a middle blocker. Hi, my name's Amelia. I'm the defensive specialist and I'm 18 years old. <laughs> Felix? Ugh, I'm Felix. A proper introduction, Felix. I'm 18 years old. My position is opposite hitter. Now, to explain the positions and how everything works, Works. You probably already know how to play, but I'll explain it so there's no misunderstanding. How does volleyball work? Well, two teams play volleyball, usually of six players on a side, in which the players use their hands to bat a ball back and forth over a high net, trying to make the ball touch the ground within the opponent's area. Only three touches are allowed for the team to get it over the net. Dig, set, and spike. Set is 25 points, and the team must be in a two-point lead. It's the best of three three matches. Now, talking about the positions and where they stand. The setter, Elijah, has a delicate touch to set the ball perfectly for one of the attacking players. Communication is extremely important for the setter because they need to get the rest of the players on the same page. Without the setter, there wouldn't be spikes. The outside hitter slash spiker, Rachel, is also known as the left side hitter. To be a successful outside hitter, you must be able to jump high, be quick on your feet, and be ready to adapt to different situations. The opposite hitter slash spiker, Felix, known as the right side spiker, needs to be a perfect balance of both offense and defense. He will also get many opportunities to hit the volleyball. Similar to the outside hitter, jumping ability is vital. The main difference that sets the opposite hitter apart is their defensive responsibility. They need to be both good at spiking and defending. The middle blocker, Heath, sometimes known as the middle hitter, is the tallest player on the volleyball team. Their main role for the team is being the first line of defense against the opponent team's hit. The middle blocker needs to read the other team's attackers to quickly raise his or her arms above the net in a blocking attempt. The defensive specialist, Amelia, can substitute any player on the court. This will count against the team's total of 12 substitutions. The defensive specialist focuses on ball control and passing. Lastly, the libero, Eudalia, goes for the ball when it's close to the ground. Libro needs to be the hardest working person on the team. You need to be able to handle tough situations and play well under pressure. Now that I got that out of the way, let's train for the upcoming competition! Reversing three amazing teams. If we lose any games, we can't go to the finale. Dahlia, since you're a Libro, you're required to wear a different uniform. Let's get started! Looking good, Dahlia. The Libro uniform is so cool! Isn't it? What you think, Felix? I don't like the color black. Remember when I asked for your opinion? No. That's right, I didn't. That's game starting! Get on the course! <laughs> uh, that was mine! No, it was heading in my direction! You guys! Uh, she started it! What are you, toddlers? Coach, the ball was mine! You're kidding, right? Why are you so rude to me? I just joined this team! You got in because of your mod! I don't respect you as a person or a teammate! Well, you better get used to it! Because I'm not going anywhere! You guys!
guys! I'm right here! Time out! Jeez, these guys are like cats and dogs! First off, you both made a mistake! You didn't call out mine! You need to call out so you don't end up crashing into each other! Hear that, Dahlia? You both disappointed me! This is your first training, Dahlia! You had to knock some sense into him! Apologies! Why must I? You guys! I'm sorry, Coach! You okay, Dahlia? Oh, I'm fine! Not even a scratch! Amelia? Aren't you training? My father. We always lose on our first game. If you think like that, of course we would lose. I'm just being realistic. There's a difference between being realistic and just being negative. I believe we can win. Then why do you play volleyball? Because I'm bored. It's just a sport anyway. Isn't our volleyball motto whatever it takes? Yes. Volleyball is more than a sport. It's a way of life. To win, you must always look up. Come on, train with your team. Fine. Only because you keep on pestering me about it. Sure, sure. Leave what you want. Ha! Uh, ah! My serves are so inconsistent. Some go over and some don't. You're a left-hander. Unfortunately, it makes serving ten times harder. Try not to hit it with the flat of your palm because it'll cause the serve to have less power. Really? Thanks, Rachel. You're so good at serving. We clearly haven't seen Felix serve. Maybe you can jump serve. He pretty much carries our team. And mom used to play in the school. What's with everyone being so negative? Well, your mom played over 20 years ago. After she left, her school went downhill. Let's bring it back up then. This is a team. We can't win alone. If you rely so much on one person, is that really called teamwork? <laughs> Great job, Felix. Powerful serve as always. Hmm. Is it just me, or does the team seem more lively? No, no, don't care. You better fix your attitude toward your teammates. I didn't expect you to bring in someone because of their family. This is about Dahlia? Who else? Yes, her mom was an amazing volleyball player. I didn't pick her for that. Did you see the way she fought with me? You need to be humbled. That ball was in Dahlia's direction. You're taking her side now? Maybe if you get to know her, you'll like her. I brought her in because her characteristics fit well. She's determined and a hard worker. She's not afraid to speak her mind. Felix? What? You're blocking my view. I am the view. Uh... Ha! Uh, you! Oh, must be joking. Are you that arrogant? Ew. Hey, what do you mean by that? Have you not seen me? Oh, I'm looking at you right now. Uh, do you really expect me to say like you're handsome or something? I'm more into personality than looks. My personality is fine. Time went fast. Our first competition was already here. The team we're bursting is called Ginza. They specialize in attack, but they're weak in defense. I want to see a lot of spikes, but also a lot of blocks. Win two matches and we'll automatically win. Let's do this. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Switch 1625. Okay, they've won one match, but this isn't over. Come on, you guys. Be more positive. We need to work on our defense. Their serves are powerful. Don't be too scared to go for it. There's nothing worse than hesitating. You guys. I worked hard to get onto this team because I know you are all amazing. Don't be afraid of what could go wrong and focus on what could go right. Dahlia's right. <laughs> well, it means something if Felix is agreeing with Dahlia. Let's win. <laughs> Huh. Come on, guys, let's go! Third match! Huh. Huh. Oh. No. Ha. 20 by 20! Oh. We won our first game! We won? You guys! You guys won! Don't act all surprised, Coach! It has a reason! We've never won before! I knew we could do it! Fortunately, that happiness didn't last long! Ouch! I got an if I fail again, I'll fail the subject! You really aren't good at history. I tried! Are you sure about that? You are always sleeping in class. It's not my fault the subject is boring. Well, you gotta start studying. If you fail again, you'll need a redemption. Which is on the day of our second competition. Right. I wish I could help, but I didn't do that well either. C is better than an F. Why don't you ask Felix for help? He's amazing at history. Him out of all people? No 
my way. Will you rather save your ego or your grade? Good question. My ego. <laughs> my Dahlia. This also involves volleyball. Uh, fine. I'll ask. What do you want? Well. Well, you're gonna confess your undying love for me? My answer is no. No! So, I failed my history test. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How could you fail it? It was so easy. Are you sure I can't punch him in the face? Yes. I need help so I don't fail this subject. If I fail, I need a redemption. Redemption is on the day of our competition. Really doing two birds with one stone. I get to see you struggle and not see you at volleyball. Felix, what's in it for me? Uh, did you really think I would do this for free? I thought you would be nice. Can you stop arguing with me for a month? That's almost impossible. I can already hear you staying in for a redemption. Oh, I hate you. What do you mean? I'm lovely. Apollo 11 was the American space flight that first landed humans on the moon. Uh, Wake up! Uh, huh? My work is cut out for me. What did I just say? You were talking about the moon. And? Uh, you need to listen if you want to learn. Can we take a brain break? You said that five minutes ago. My brain can't handle this much knowledge. Fine. I forgot to say, thanks for teaching me, even though you didn't do it for free. Welcome. I don't like you, but it's for my volleyball team. Why do you play volleyball? I just got into it one day. Playing with my teammates was fun. Nothing special. You? I always enjoyed watching it on TV. It was my own little secret dream. But finding out my mom used to play was my pushing point. I enjoy playing, and I also enjoy being connected to my mom. How did you not know she played? Didn't she tell you? Uh, well, she passed away giving birth to me. I never met her. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry. Don't be. Anyway, your brain break is over. Oh, uh, no! Weeks went by, and I got my test results back. What is it? It's... Hurry up! 50%! You passed! Thank goodness! Is it 50% still in F? I'm not quite understanding. <laughs> I'm such a good teacher. I'm such a good student. <laughs> good joke. I'm so glad you can go to the volleyball competition. Congrats, Delia. I'm glad, too. You've been rather grumpy lately. I didn't think Delia would take my deal seriously. It's been a few weeks since you talked to me. Well, you came up with that deal. Why are you upset about it? I don't know. Um, Dahlia... The deal's off. Talk to me. Come on, Dahlia. Dahlia, talk to me. It's been a week since you talked to me and it's driving me insane. Say something. Go back to yelling at me. Or screaming at me. Anything. Just say something. <laughs> Are you that desperate to hear my voice? Didn't you come up with that deal? Well, it started to get weird not hearing your nagging. Aw, did you miss my voice that much? Gee, I should have never said anything. <laughs> so silly. Tell ya, here's your new uniform. But I already have one. This is the professional one for the camera. Dahlia, what are you wearing? Uh, I don't even know. Oh, the cameraman told me this was an actual uniform. They just want you to wear that because it's revealing. I know that. I have to talk to them. Wait, Dahlia, try not to play the target in your bag. I don't care. This isn't something I will take lightly. You! Perfect, you're wearing the uniform. I won't be wearing it. Why not? It's your uniform. I'm basically wearing a bra and tight shorts. This is uncomfortable and revealing. What are you talking about? I want the audience to watch the game. I'm playing volleyball. If I wanted to dress like this, I would have signed up for a pageant. Hey, hold up. I should not be expected to wear skippy clothes and makeup for people to watch me play. You do not make the men in my team wear revealing clothes, but you decide since I'm a woman, I should dress up? It's not important about how I look, but how I play. Are you okay, Dahlia? I'm fine now. You're so cool. If this ever happens again, call your teammates. We're all on your side. Okay, this team is the opposite of the team we played last time. They're called Koenji. Their attacks are weak, but their defense is extremely strong. I want to see spikes going to the corners of the court. Smash the ball as hard as you can. Understood? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So pro. 
proud of you guys. We're going to the finals. I'm home. Do you have anything to say to me? No. Volleyball. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, how did you know? I saw you play. Yes, I am playing volleyball. So we're going to the grand finals. I want you to quit volleyball. But it's my dream. I want to do this. I don't care if you want to do it. So when did you care what I did? Ever since I was born, I didn't care about what I did or where I was. Now that I have something to look forward to, you care? I'm sick and tired of you treating me like this. And I have done absolutely nothing. Did you just speak back to me? All those times I cared for you, I put you to bed, huh? When you couldn't afford food, who decided to look for a job? I just wanted love. Do you really deserve affection? What have I done that didn't deserve it? My wife was my best friend and my soulmate. We met playing volleyball and we fell in love. After graduation, we decided to travel around the world. We decided to bring in a baby. I was so excited to have a mini version of my wife running around. That was until she gave her life for that child. The child was the reason the love of my life is gone. Every time she walks in front of my eyes, I get reminded of my dear wife. She looked and acted exactly like her mom. I hated the world for giving me a reminder of what I had lost. My mom had a choice to give up on me or save me. She saved me because she loved me. She loved me. A person who I never met loved me more than anyone I know. Do you think mom would have been happy to see the treatment you've been giving me? Because of you, I've never known what my mother loved or who she was. You never talked to me. I've lived my whole life with you reminding me that I was the cause of mom being gone. But after I found one thing I've loved, you suddenly decide to care. You have no right to act like a parent now. You missed your chance years ago. Years of me yearning for your love and receiving nothing back. You're just the person that gave me life, nothing else. I'm leaving this household. I, I've had enough living under a roof with a stranger. Ugh. I'm so excited to bring her into this world. Do you think she will look like me or you? I hope she looks exactly like her mother. I only wish she's healthy. Her name will be Dahlia. Dahlia? What a pretty name. We must always protect her. What kind of father would I be if I didn't? Ugh. Who comes here at this hour? <gasps> Dahlia? Why are you here? You're the only person I could think of. Get inside. You'll catch a cold if you stay out here. Thank you. Are you gonna tell me why you're here? I left my household. Why? My father. For hours, all I did was talk. Talked about everything that I've gone through. For some reason, everything spilled out. Maybe because I had a fever or because I've never had someone to talk to. Everything came out. To my surprise, Felix didn't argue or smirk. He just listened. That small gesture meant the world to me. I just think if I never existed, my mom and dad would live happily. We would have been a happy family. I would have grown up with love for my mom and dad. I don't know if it's my fault for acting like my mother. I don't intend to remind dad of mom. But I'm just being myself. Hey, you should never apologize for being you. What second have I caught myself acting different? I hated her. I disliked the way she always talked back at me. I disliked her cheeky grin. I disliked how she could always beat me in an argument. The moment I saw her come inside quiet, I knew I didn't want anything but for her to go back to her noisy self it was the feeling I had before. But she didn't speak to me for weeks. I couldn't stand her staying silent. Right now, I couldn't stand it even more seeing her upset. This girl meant more to me than I thought she did. You shouldn't change to please your dad. Be yourself and the right people will love you. Come on, you have the volleyball team. And you have me. <laughs> I'll sleep on the couch. You can use my room. Thank you so much, Felix. Sleep well. For the next few weeks, we train every day. My father hasn't contacted me since that day. I don't know if he ever will. I joined because I wanted to achieve my mother's dream. But now I've realized this is also my dream. My dream of hitting the ball. My dream of playing with my teammates. My dream of having a place to call home. Alrighty, guys. We're versing the Shibuya volleyball team. Unlike the other two we burst. They're incredibly skilled. They win this competition every year. Their serves are Felix's level. Fortunately, most of us still cannot serve like Felix. Their defense is extremely strong, as well as their strategic thinking. Good luck! Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes! Be careful of the libero. The libero? Why? She looks like nothing special. I've seen her play. Trust me, no matter how close the ball is to the ground, she will attempt to get it. <laughs> We played hard. 
our opponent played harder. The two games we played could not match the game we played today. Timeout, 14-22. Okay, they've won two sets out of three sets. There's still a chance to turn this around, though. If we win the next two sets in 40 minutes, we can make it a draw. The fifth set will determine who will win. Not to be a buzzkill, but it's almost impossible with the timer. It's not over until the timer runs out. We did not come all the way here to give up, even if we did lose. At least I would want to say we tried our best. Giving up now is automatic failure. I won't lie. You and Felix are both carrying us. I don't think so. You don't win alone. That's just how it is. You don't win alone. Oh, Sophie left behind a gift. You would be so proud of her. She's exactly like you. As your coach, it would be disappointing to give up now. They already think they've won. Do we want that? Before this, we have never even won a game. And here we are in the finale. Isn't that already amazing? Whatever it takes, we must work together as a team. Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes! won two sets. Whoever wins this set wins it all. I hope we won't let that happen after fighting for those two sets. <laughs> set it higher, hit it harder, pass it better, give it all you've got. Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie. Whoever wins this next point gets a huge advantage. <laughs> <laughs> time with you even if we do nothing everything is just so much better when you're here i know you're focused on volleyball and you have no time for something like my feelings i can't help but fall in love for you uh, wait i i just got caught up in the moment <laughs> you idiot. i like you too you took care of me when no one else could i'm forever grateful to you let's see where this goes yes <laughs> ever after together you guys that was dig it a volleyball inspired gacha club mini movie by hannah like i said there is another volleyball inspired gacha story called serve it up by sunflower definitely check out both i will have the original videos in the description down below let me know what other gacha stories you like to see me react to next but if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and if you're new subscribe to come a mermaid or a merman thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys